Something I'm often asked uh, when I'm leading workshops and expeditions in the Arctic or Antarctic regions is how do you process your photographs to get that pencil-like look uh, of a drawing that we so often see with our eye but the camera often fails to capture? Uh, how do you get that look in post-production? And it's actually really, really easy. So I thought today I'd just do a very short sort of five, ten minute video that shows how you can quickly and easily get this uh, effect or look uh, in Lightroom uh, with post-production, just very, very few simple steps. Um, because so often when we're shooting in the field in these environments, uh, the camera actually captures a very different look to what, uh, what we see with our eye or what we remember. And sometimes it can be hard to get that look. So let's go through the steps. So here we have a, uh, a reindeer that I photographed this winter in March in uh, Svalbard. Uh, just lying in some snow, I was really attracted to all the crusty snow lying that was, you know, uh, on the reindeer and the way it was lying all curled up in the snow. So the photograph on the left is the original raw image uh, captured by a Canon EOS 1DX Mark II with a 600mm lens with white balance set to auto. So that's the, the file as the camera recorded it. The file on the right is the finished processed file after I've made a few adjustments to it. And it's much closer to what I saw in the field and my own uh, artistic vision for how I wanted this to look. Uh, much more like a pencil drawing. Uh, the image on the left is just very, very blue, which is how the camera saw it, you know, how the white balance recorded it, but it's not what I envisaged. So let's have a look. Let's take this image uh, over to the develop module, uh, the raw image. As you can see, I shot quite a lot of them. And I'll show you how to achieve this look very, very quickly and easily. So the first thing uh, I'm going to do uh, on this photograph is, this is uncropped by the way, this is just as I shot it, is um, change the color, the, the color profile. So by default Lightroom is using Adobe Color, but I find for this sort of high key photograph that I prefer to start with the camera neutral uh, profile, which is really just a um, imitation of uh, the JPEG uh, that's created in the 1DX Mark II if you set the profile to neutral. Uh, but it's a good starting point for this sort of high key image and as you can see it's it's made some changes already uh, to the photograph. We're going to make a few more to get that look. So the first thing I'm going to do after I've selected neutral is I'm just going to set my black point and I'm going to do that by holding down the option key so I can see what I'm doing uh, so I can see when the clipping occurs and I'm just going to set it so that I get just a little bit of clipping just like that around the eye where the darkest part is. And then I'll set this, do the same for the white point, uh, just until I get a little bit of clipping. Now this is going to, and then I'll back it off a bit. Hopefully you can see that. So now this is going to massively increase the the uh, the contrast, but not in the way we look, we want it to. So I need to further adjust this with the highlights and shadows sliders. So I'm going to bring up the shadows now, quite substantially, uh, to around about here, and then bring the highlights all the way down. And that gets us much closer to where we want to be. Uh, we're just now a little bit too, um, too blue. So I can correct this with a, a white balance adjustment. Uh, and that's going to get me close, but not perfect. So if I use the white balance tool and I just click on the snow, which is, I know I want to be neutral, that's going to set a white balance and a tint. But it's going to be too warm. Uh, I know just through experience, and there you go, it is. It's just too warm. It's set a uh, white balance up around 18,000 Kelvin. But what it has done is give me the correct tint. So I can now just drag that white balance slider back, season it to taste, to something that's much closer to, to what I want, or something around there. And now we're getting much more neutral you know, in our processing and in our white balance. It's still not exactly what I'd like, but it's getting very, very close. So now what I'll do is I'll come straight down to the saturation tab, click on the targeted adjustment tool, and as I roll it over the snow, you can see the color of the snow is blue, it's highlighted. So if I just desaturate that, I'm going to achieve that neutral look, just about there. And I've just pulled that blue out of the photograph, and now it's very, very neutral. It's not a black and white image, which it would be if I'd reduced the saturation enough. I've just pulled the blue out of it to try and give it a much more neutral look. Uh, and this can very, very easily give us the, uh, the look we're looking for in our photograph. So if I, if I now um, want to sharpen this photograph, I would take it up to 100% and apply my sharpening. I'm not going to do all that for now. I just wanted to show you very quickly in a few steps how you can achieve this pencil-like look. 
uh, pencil-like drawing look uh, very, very quickly and easily. Uh, let's just actually go back to the photograph. We'll reset it back to where it was, come back, and then we'll compare it to our finished photograph again. So you can see the start and the finish again. And there we are. So very, very quickly and easily, I've got that pencil-like look uh, of an Escher drawing that I've looked for in my photograph that is much, much closer to what I saw with my eye and much, much closer to my own final vision for this image.